Hey YouTube, it's your girl Mama V here, back for another quick lunch with y'all slash dinner. What do you call lunch between dinner? What is that meal called? Cause you know it's like brunch is for like lunch and dinner. And so lunch, I mean <laughs> breakfast and lunch. So I would say dinner and lunch would be dulch, dulch, I don't know. Anyways, hi guys. <laughs> I'm excited. I have some food here. And so, um, I want to show y'all one some. It's so cool. So, this is all decomposable packaging. But look, usually they have like, you know, top foil or something. But this is actually like a top that's also decomposable. Isn't that so cool? Anyways, this is roasted cauliflower tossed in some parsley, lemon, and some spices. I have some falafel food, so falafel. So I have a chicken sharma here. And with falafel, some pickled veggies. Excited, I waited to eat this for y'all. I have some lentil soup here. Oh, it's a little cold, but it's okay, it's okay. I don't know if it's actually lentil. I don't know, I'm used to lentil being, um, or the soup that I've had that's lentil being red. And then I have some chicken sharma here with some pita bread over rice and some falafel there. So yeah, and then I also wanted to try this new dessert that I haven't tried before. So it's like a cookie. So let me see. It's like stuffed with dates and pistachio. Kind of look like a moon cake with the little design in front. Anyway, excited. I'm gonna try and not to eat that first. So let's go ahead and dig in y'all. And then I will go ahead and, you know, we'll chit chat while we eat. Let me actually try this. If I ate this actually right when I got it, it probably would have been more crispier. Mm. Tastes like regular cauliflower. Mm. There's some, yeah, a little bit spices in there. So good, no cauliflower. Mm. That lime in there, though. Have y'all ever tasted, um, my friend introduced me to this. It's like cauliflower, but it's like in batter and fried. It literally tastes like chicken, y'all. Got it from an Indian restaurant. Literally tastes like chicken. Let's try our falafel first. Y'all want a bite? I grabbed two forks instead of a knife, so I'm gonna have to bite it. Mmm. Mmm. Chili. That chili sauce ain't playing. But the falafel itself is pretty good. Mmm. This falafel is actually one of the better ones I've tried. I've tried falafel before, but some of them, maybe I just didn't eat it fresh. Were super dry, but this one's really good. I wonder. Oh, great. They left the chili out of that one because. Yeah, I didn't want too much chili sauce. Some cabbage. Or is that like. Red lettuce. When you guys cabbage. Hmm. You know, I'm not a big fan of coleslaw, but some of the way they make theirs, it's not like drenched in the sauce. It's just lightly tossed coleslaw. I don't know. I just feel like you can wring whatever they use, like the sauce. Like if you wring it, all of it will come out of the veggie. And I hate soggy veggie. This is actually really fresh. All right. Let's take a big bite of this bad boy. I'm actually gonna put... Some... Hot sauce on that. Take a bite. I like it because it's just a wrap and it's so simple. It has just some veggies in there. Veggies with the meat. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. 
I wish I had some of that green sauce. That creamy green sauce that they like put on there. It's a mouthful of meat, but it's good. How y'all been? What y'all been up to? Summer is almost here. Life has been busy, y'all. I literally feel like I'm like going somewhere every weekend. Like not being at home every weekend is getting tiring. <laughs> I feel like out of COVID, like it's such a struggle to do social things now. Because COVID, we were so used to staying home, but now like you know, it's like trying to do outdoor hiking on the weekend and, you know, stay in a hotel away from home or um, the baby daddy's family is in L.A. So traveling to L.A. a little bit more frequently than we usually do. So it's been tiring, y'all. Oh, I'm my knife. Mmm. That sauce still. Good old cold water. Anyways. So, I originally, we were in LA visiting dad's, the girl's dad's side of the family. And I bought like all my, my, my camera stand and I was ready. I was like, oh, I got some food places I want to mukbang too because you know it's a different location and LA got all the different types of food I feel like the food starts in LA and then you know people it makes its way up to Northern California so anyways that plan on it I don't know what happened every time I'm gone I'm like I have hella time all of a sudden I feel like I don't have that much time to film and I think it's because like going between like the hotel and then the family house and all that could get pretty exhausting excuse me and so I feel like I just default to not filming, which is bad. I need to do it. The next couple of times we film, I'm really trying to do it. Oh, that's actually what I want to tell. So I actually was planning to film this. There's this thing called Polar Playground. Y'all should, um, y'all should look them up. They're in LA, but it's basically like, this ice cream cotton candy shop and um they make like big old cotton candy like sculptures like unicorns kitty pikachu i thought the kids were gonna enjoy see it it's definitely overpriced cotton candy but whatever it's the experience and so um saturday we we, we got into la and we we're kind of tired so we're like oh let's go sunday so sunday roll around um i was like oh let's go and we got there literally like eight minutes after they opened. Mind you, they opened at one, so there's not super early. And they, like, the line was wrapped around the little plaza. Like, it was bananas. And they were just open. And I'm like, how? These people must have been standing in line for like an hour or so because the line's already wrapped around and they barely just opened. I knew it was going to be packed. Like, if y'all see their Instagram, it's like for real, like, you'll see why. I just didn't think it was going to be that packed. So, we had literally an hour and 45 minutes before we had to be somewhere else. And 
I was like, so, you know, I was like, oh, maybe we should wait. Like the girls were super excited. So, um, their uncles and aunties go line up and I'm sitting in the car cause the girls are sleeping. Mm. So bottom of the wrap is bomb. So anyway, so I guess the worker came out and was like, it's going to be a long wait. And she pointed to where the, where our party was standing at. I was like, it's going to be a three hour wait. Mind you, like the line was crazy long, but I didn't think it was like three hour crazy long. So I'm like, how hard is it to whip up, you know, cotton candy? I'm thinking you have maybe the heads pre-made or something. You just... So anyways, we literally had to be somewhere else. And we weren't super close to the other place that we had to be. And they're pretty strict because we had to make an appointment to go to the other place. So we literally, they were literally the only ones who got out of line. Everybody else was stayed and ready to wait three hours. I think it's worth waiting. Maybe not three hours. <laughs> At that point, my husband just came early and waited an hour before. So I really wanted to film it. If that was like the only thing I was going to film in LA, I wanted it to be that. But yeah. That was too crazy. So we're going to go again maybe next weekend or in the next few weeks. Best believe I'm going to be there. Early. Because I was thinking about, like, going midday. But I was like, what about if they start running on supplies? Like, it was a long line. And we talked to the guy in front, one of these guys who were in front. He said he was there for about an hour before opening. But yeah, people have their kids, their family. My kids just cannot sit still for that long. Nor do I want to have them wait three hours, you know. But if I get one next time, I'm going to film it for y'all. Because I make it in front of you. Y'all should definitely check it out. And then there are some other crab places I wanted to try out. Like, I feel like. I don't know if necessarily the food is better out there, but I feel like the presentation is like grand, <laughs> right? It's all about presentation. I think that's what all mukbangs about, right? Like cool presentation. Me, I'm over here just eating the simple meal. I ain't trying to have like 10 burgers just so y'all think I'm gonna eat all 10 burgers. No, half of that's probably even going in the trash. This is good. Mommy's filming, baby. What's up? So yeah, I feel like LA was a good spot because it was all about the presentation. And yeah, I'm getting full already. I feel like I snacked too much before this. Oh, okay. This is a thick lentil soup. I don't have um, a spoon, so I'm gonna just scoop them. <laughs> it's good. It would taste way better if it was warm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, I can't wait to the weekend. It's been an interesting, busy week. So I'm ready to just be done with the week. And summer's almost here. And even though you're an adult, I feel like you don't really have summers. Like, it's a summer mentality. Like, ooh, the weather's nicer. But, like, you know, it's not like when you were in school or um, college, you're like, oh, summer break, you know, no big responsibilities. Life is the same. Life is the same as an adult. So, <laughs> I'm so excited, though, for the warm weather and just to be able to do a lot more outdoor activity. I had to take a short break, the kids. <laughs>
obviously did not fall asleep for their nap. But yeah, I feel like it's, it's different during the summer. So I'm still looking forward to it, although there's not too much of a big break. I'm hoping to get some time off of work. <sighs> you know. Actually, I'm going to eat some of this chicken by itself. It's a tad bit dry, but not like crazy dry. So what I need to do next time I go down to LA, I think I just need to really just sit down and be like, here's a list of the places and the days I'm going to do it. Try to do it maybe early in the afternoon so I don't get caught up with the family stuff and get, you know, too... I don't procrastinate it until it's too late and next thing you know I'm back in the bay <laughs> for the mukbangs. And I haven't, so I, I like have a bucket list of things I need to do on this mukbang channel. I definitely want to do seafood again, but I mean seafood hasn't been too much in season in my past previous videos. And like the crabs aren't that great. And so hopefully it's a little bit better now. And then, you know, some Tongan food and getting all that done. But yeah, guys, this was a super short mukbang because your girl's a little tired, a lot a bit tired. And um, I've been snacking, so my bad, y'all. I wasn't that hungry. I appreciate again, y'all, for y'all joining me again. Um, I'll probably save this for lunch and dinner. That's one thing I do love about mukbangs is that I always have, oh, Actually, before we go, I want to try that cookie. I, I'm not a big, I mean, I don't hate dates, but I also don't love dates, you know. But I love anything tasted like that tastes like pistachio. So let's we'll try this cookie. Mm. It's interesting. It's like you can obviously see all the pistachio. And then, oh, so the pistachio is actually on the bottom only. And the inside's just the dates. Crushed up dates. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually good. I'm gonna have to order some more of these. It's like it tastes like a jam. Y'all ever eat? Y'all ever eat those um like bread from what is that called? Nine Nine Ranch or like Asian Bakery or Red Red Ribbon. That Filipino bakery. You ever ate like the taro fillings and the red bean? This kind of tastes like red bean, but it's not like as strong as red bean. It's a very subtle beany taste. Obviously dates, but if you're not, I'm trying to describe it if you don't eat dates, because I don't normally eat dates. Mmm, this is good. It's actually a lot better than I thought. I was debating on ordering a few of these, but I was like, mmm, let me just see if I like it or not. Now I do. It was like two fifty a pop. Mm. Looks like I'm gonna just eat it all, not share with nobody. <laughs> Definitely recommend this. I don't really know, remember what's called. Maybe on the receipt, my bad, yo. It was called a date cookie. <laughs> a date cookie, y'all. This is bomb. It's more, definitely a pastry, more than a cookie. The outside super flaky. It's like more like a, a dough than a cookie. Mm. That's really good, y'all. I'm glad I tried that off camera. I haven't had this type of food in a while. So it's good to try. It's actually very filling because, you know, you have the cauliflower and you have like the meat. And the veggies, so yeah, it was good. That's one thing I do like about mukbangs is that there's always leftovers for later in dinner, tomorrow breakfast, and maybe tomorrow dinner. So yeah, 
I'm excited, y'all. Thank you again for watching me. Um, and I'm hoping to bring some more exciting food to y'all. I just wanted to sit down and have a simple meal with y'all in between the breaks of the story time and trying out new foods. But anyways, like I said, it costs free to be nice. Peace and love, y'all.